Today, Kevin and I have a variety of snacks to try for you, just things that we found that we hadn't tried, and so we put them all together in one video. These are the Incredipuffs Elote. These are Hen of the Woods Carolina BBQ. And I have the Pringles Limited Time um, Wendy's Spicy Chicken. So the Pringles uh, uh, Wendy's uh, chips were $1.99 at Walgreens. The Hen of the Woods were- The only place we've seen them before. Is at Walgreens around here, yeah. Uh, and they were on a special display. Yeah, they had a pretty good size display at our store. Yeah. Place. Uh, these uh, Hen of the Woods were $2.99 at Home Goods, and this uh, Elote in Credit Puffs were actually on clearance for $2 at Home Goods. Um, and the date, um, the date is still good until September, so I don't know why they were on clearance. Um, but they have a lot of different flavors. And we've tried like Puffs. three different ones. And we four. tried them all. These yeah. are the only ones we have not tried. Uh, so. Certified gluten-free, zero trans fats, peanut-free, non-GMO, no, no artificial flavors. They are vegan. Elote flavored, classic Mexican street corn flavor with sweet and spicy notes to put your taste buds in a headlock. I like their pictures and stuff. I do too. These are made in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. So, two Ohio brands here. I didn't even realize. Um, one ounce, 28 grams or 140 calories. And there are five servings in here. So I'm going to use some scissors here. Just it's easier. It, well, it's easier to fold it over. Mm -hmm. So basically Mexican street corn. They're the size of the finger. I like corn flavored chips. That is definitely not just corn. There's some spice to it. It has onion powder, garlic powder, paprika for color. I actually get a little bit of a pepper flavor. Like yeah, the, there is a uh, there's a heat to it. Mm -hmm. It's um not bad. It almost tastes like a spaghetti sauce or a pizza sauce almost. It is leaving a very light tingle on my mm -hmm. tongue, so yeah, it doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. No, it's just a nice little spice. It's a nice spice, a nice tingle. But I don't I, really get corn though. Um, I got it when I first put it in my mouth, yeah. but then once you chew it, mm. you you get the other flavors. The more tingle in the back of my throat. Oh, I'm sad. sure the more you eat, the more you're gonna get of that. I'm getting like a pizza vibe more than corn though. I can understand that. Yeah, maybe it's like a corn salsa. You know, that's what they should have called mm -hmm. it. But but um. It's good though. They're good. I like them. Mm -hmm. uh, I do like them quite a bit. And they've got a good crunch to them. They're not a squishy puff. No, they're not. But all. they're also not a sharp puff that's going to hurt your mouth after a while. So those were from Columbus, Ohio. Is mm -hmm. that what I said? These, Hen of the Woods, are from Cincinnati, Ohio, which is really close to us. Um, one ounce, 28 grams, about 14 chips are 150 calories. And we've had other Hen of the Woods, by the way, too. Yes. So if you're interested, you can just for him of the woods. Um, Alicia got us started on Hen of the Woods as she sent it mailed us some a long time ago. And this is an excellent brand. So the last Hen of the Woods that I reviewed came from I think Marshalls and I said then people don't realize that are in Marshalls and Home Goods, I don't think, how expensive these normally are. Mm -hmm. These are in the more expensive stores. So if you can find them um, in uh, Marshalls and Home Goods, don't they sell them at Whole Foods? Buy them there. Um, I'm pretty sure they sell them at Whole they Foods. They sell them at Whole Foods. They sell them at Good Foods Co-op, mm -hmm. and they're they're expensive. Okay. That's a good barbecue. It's not your traditional barbecue. Um, and they're kettle cooked. Gluten they have free. a, they have a, they don't have a sweet barbecue flavor. They're more of a vinegary, spicy barbecue because they do have a little bit of spice on them. Not burn your mouth spice. Actually, I think the the Incredible Puffs were actually spicier as far oh, as burn, mm -hmm. but there is spice in that. You know what this reminds me of? It's good. It it has, um, I don't know why, but it's given me a bacon vibe. So, a little smokiness. So I can see that smoky. It's giving me definitely barbecue, but I'm getting, I'm also getting bacon. Like the, like the flavor I'm left over with in my mouth 
makes me feel like I've eaten breakfast and right. I've had bacon and that's what I'm left with. Yeah, I think it's the smokiness probably. I, I it doesn't it. have the meaty flavor to me, mm -hmm. but it does have smokiness to it. I, I absolutely yeah. think that's A little touch of vinegar, a little spice. Mm -hmm. those a, are little, a little tingle, but not, not bad at all. Now. I like those. That's, that's, that's really good. We're going from that to chicken. Pringles, Wendy's Spicy Chicken, limited time only. Uh, 15 crisps, one ounce, 28 grams is 150 calories. So they're yeah. about 10 calories a piece, same the as they always are. Pringle. Yeah, same as they always are. It says, download, hold on, a special Wendy's offer. One, download the Wendy's app. Two, enter the code under this lid. Three, unlock a special Wendy's offer. Uh, it's probably free fries or something. Yeah, but what if we won like a million dollars? I don't think they do that. All right, do you have the Wendy's app? No. There's definitely a number. Huh. It's funny, over in the UK, I watched a video on somebody just real quick. They put the code at the bottom of the can. So like down people, here? Yeah. So what people were doing was they were just going through and entering the code. Well, why the wouldn't code. you? You'd yeah. be stupid not Just standing to. in the store going. <laughs> yeah, well, heck yeah, why not? Why, I don't why would they you did do that? that? Somebody, somebody clearly did not think that through. No. <laughs> Oh wow, they're spicy. Mm -hmm. Now, chicken flavored chips can go one of two ways. Mm -hmm. They can be really funky, nasty. They can be okay. These are okay. I don't, I don't mind the chicken flavor, and they are spicy, that's for sure. They're. I, Ooh. You get a little bit of that chicken flavor right at the beginning, and then it kind of goes away. Honestly, yeah, Ooh. I would. They're spicy though. I think if I was blindfolded, I would not. I wouldn't necessarily taste, say, chicken. Oh, no, I get fried, like a fried chicken patty when you first eat it. I'm getting more of the flavor of the breading on the chicken. So, like, yeah, you have I can see that. So, like, yeah. Kentucky fried chicken, and I know this is supposed to be Wendy. Sorry. It's Wendy's, the same thing. But they have that, the special, well, they use the special, what, seven herbs and spices yeah. or something like that. It tastes like the 12. breading. Is it 12? I think it's 12. I don't know what it is. It tastes like the breading. It tastes like the breading of the yeah. chicken. So I'm not getting like the meat of the chicken. I'm no, getting the breading I on the chicken. 100% agree that it tastes like a fried breading mm -hmm. on a chicken. I agree. I'll actually like them. I, I, do, the I do too. Because we've had some really funky, nasty mm -hmm. chicken flavored stuff. And it's like, oh, this is disgusting. And when we found these, I was afraid that it was going to be those nasty chicken chips. Yeah. It's not like that. No. Matter of fact, if they went more chickeny instead of the breading, I think it probably would have been that mm -hmm. way. But they did go for more of the breading spice. This is 100% breading. Yeah. Um, so if you're one of those people that like to strip your chicken and just eat the breading like Ashley does, then you'll, um, love, you'll love them. Does Ashley do that? She doesn't do it with chicken patties, but she still does it with chicken nuggets. Yes. Okay. <laughs> now, the big question. You only have the money to Oh, buy I know which one I buy. I do too. The would hen of the woods. Me too, please. But I tell you what, honestly, it's very closely followed by the Wendy's ones. I agree because these are very good. So I mean, really, either one of those would be perfect. These are really good, mm -hmm. but they're just different. They're the different, flavors are yeah. a little more flat. These are just like really, really rich. Well, and, and I like the. Those are different as far as te they're they're not bad, but they're different as far as texture and everything. I love the kettle cooked chips. I love the crispiness of the Pringles. So, uh, honestly, if you can get any of them, I would say try them. They're all worth your money. Mm -hmm. But uh, I wouldn't pass on these. Pass no, they're these really, up. really good, but they are spicy. Just know that they are. I mean, I've still got but, a tingle in my mouth. But it's not like flaming hot. It's not flaming like hot, no. no. But it is spicier it's a than. Pleasant it's spicier than your traditional like barbecue or whatever. Right. It's definitely got some spice there. There's more spice in these than the, the yeah. uh, Incredibles. Yeah. So I will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.